Welcome everybody, my name is Cameron from the acrobatic comedy show Barely Balanced and today we're going to be doing a workout for muggers. Dun dun dun. Now if you're like me, sometimes you go out there to do some good mugging but you just don't feel like you've got what it takes to really stick it to them. You don't have the follow through, you don't have the arm strength to really intimidate them into handing over their goods. Well, this workout is gonna be low impact to focus on strengthening your upper body for maximum intimidation. So here we go, you guys. We're going for 15 of every workout. 15, why so many? Because when it comes to mugging, there's no shortcuts. Starting things off with some knee push-ups so we can really drive those daggers home. So, 15 knee push-ups. Get your hands underneath your shoulders, your butt cheeks squeezed tight, head long, body long, core engaged, and begin. Now, if these are too much for you, start doing them against the wall instead. It's a great way to get started. If doing it on your knees feels pretty easy, you can try lifting one leg. If that is too easy, then you can go all the way up to your toes. All right, you should be just at about 15 of these. Good work. Okay, next, you're gonna grab some weights for your hands. You can grab some cans of soup, shoes, or your gigantic mugger's blades. So bring your arms straight wide into a T-shape, arms out wide, and then you're gonna bring them from wide to in. 15 times, keeping them up nice and high. When you bring your arms back, try to pinch your shoulder blades together in the back. Imagine you're hiding your coin purse from other muggers behind your shoulder blades. You might see in the background every now and then, there she is, my mugging companion who sniffs out all the good marks. Okay, you guys, next we're gonna do some straight out bicep curls. This way we get those good downward chops when we're mugging. So for this, have your weights, your arms are up at shoulder height. Bring them up to your shoulder blades, back out. Again, we're doing 15 of these. Try to keep it isolated. Try to keep your elbows high so your elbows stay in line with your shoulder blades the whole time. If you want to make it a little harder, you can go into a, a low squat or a gentle squat as you do these. Perfect, you guys. Coming up next is going to be another round of push-ups. We'll have three rounds of the push-ups. Okay, so sit down your blades. Get yourselves back into your push-up position. 15 of them, you guys. Pick the modification that works for you. Let's do this. Now let's say you have issues with your wrists and push-ups just aren't something that works well for you. You have a couple of options for these. You can do them on your knuckles Put some pads underneath your hands to give yourself a little bit of cushion. I've sprayed my wrists enough times doing acrobatics that I've done these this way quite often. If that doesn't work, you can also just do an elbow plank, which will help to work those same muscles. Okay, guys, you should be at about 15. Get your last one in. Pick up your weights. Next, we're gonna be doing shoulder taps. So for this one, you're gonna have your arms straight up, nice and high, okay? Right up over your head. I have my hips, my core engaged, and then I'm bringing my hands down to tap my shoulders back up. When I bring them up, I squeeze them in, so I'm bringing my biceps to my ears. So I'm getting a little bit of a shoulder shrug in there. Feel it long, keep them back. Try not arch through your back too much as you're doing these. Good job, okay, next. 
We're gonna bring our arms straight out wide, bring them into tap. Straight out wide, into tap. It's five. Keep going. It's 10, almost there. Excellent job, you guys. Okay, another round of push-ups. Let's get this, you guys, ready? Butts are engaged, squeezing our belly buttons up into our spine, bodies long, begin. That's five. If you want to make your wrist stronger, check out our wrist therapy video for good wrist health. I will put a link to that video in the description for this one. Starting to feel these. If you feel your form suffering, go to an easier version. So. If you're all the way up, go to your knees. If you're on your knees, go to the wall. Make it work. Okay, come out of that. Get your weights ready. Next, we're gonna be doing scissor chops. So for these ones, you're gonna move like scissors, like this, up and down. I'm trying to get my shoulders and hands in the same line. Shoulder chops, okay? For one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, shake them off for just a moment. Now we're gonna do scissor chops going sideways. So you're gonna be going like this over top of each other, switching which hand is on top. For 15, okay, so arms up at the same height as your shoulders. And core is engaged, butt is tucked, belly button squeezed towards the spine, and begin. One, two, three, four, five. During quarantine, this is how I have been cutting my own hair. I just have Margaret run towards me doing this. Also explains why I've gained a lot more gray hairs. Three, Two, one, excellent job you guys. Okay, we're gonna shake things off, grab a quick drink of water, and we're gonna do one more round through. If you're short on time, one time through is a great start, it really is. If nothing else, is gonna get your heart rate going, which is gonna boost your metabolism. It's gonna start the process of burning some calories. Even when you're resting after the workout, throughout the day, you'll continue to burn some energy. And the nice thing about working out too is the more muscles you gain, the more you just casually will be burning energy throughout the day. So you do get a growing return. Okay, you guys, starting off with our push ups. Now, at this point, they might be feeling a little bit tough. We've already done 45, but I know you've got more in you. Like I said, if you need to go to the wall or if you want to go to a couch or a chair, Go to what works for you. If you put your arms up higher than your legs, it'll become easier. So let's start, you guys. Push-ups in three, two, one, go. Yeah, you wanna come up here, don't you, baby girl? Ooh, I'm feeling these. My form is starting to suffer, so I'm gonna go to my knees. Keeping my core engaged for my last two of these. Excellent work. Finish off your 15 and then get your weights ready. Now let's say you're using your blades and at this point you're like, you know, I just want a little bit more resistance, a little bit more weight. What you can do is move up to um, a bigger, heavier soup can or some heavy boots or just grab more blades. It works great. It's an also excuse to buy more weapons. So here we go, you guys. We're gonna do our T arms. So arms out like a T, forward, back. 
That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Pinch those shoulder blades together in the back. Eight, nine, ten. Keep your core engaged, belly button to the spine. We're almost there, you guys. Just a moment longer. Great job. Okay, shake them off for just a second. Five, four, three, two, one. Bicep curls are next. Palms towards the sky, arms out in line with the shoulders. My core is engaged. I'm bringing them in towards my shoulders. Tap and back out. You, of course, can do these with no weights or you can add dumbbells. The neat thing about doing it with our arms up this high is that we also get a little bit of a back exercise which as a mugger is very important. We have to have strong backs because there's always other muggers trying to backstab us for that extra D6 of damage. Doing great, you guys. We're almost there. I just let my arms, they were, they were dragging. Okay, perfect work. Set down your weights. Another round of push-ups. We're almost done, you guys. Dig deep, you've got this. Think about how proud you're going to be of yourself. Oh, hello, baby puppy. You're so sweet. So I'm going to start on my toes and then move to my knees when my form suffers. Here we go. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. Laughing makes it harder. Eight, nine, ten. I'm going to move to my knees. Eleven. 12, 13, oh my goodness, 14, 15, we're doing push-ups, little girl, not up, dog. Okay, you guys, get your weights, get your weapons. I'm going to move back down to just two blades. Here we go. Shoulder taps, so arms up towards the sky, biceps in towards the ears. Tap, squeeze them up. Tap, up. That's five. Keep that core engaged. That's ten. Excellent work, you guys. Shake them off for five, four. Next, we're doing arms wide, T wide, shoulder taps. So arms out, palms up. Bring it to touch the shoulder, it's back out. After this is our final round of push-ups. Can you make it all the way through? If the wall was too easy, but doing it on your knees is too hard, Use the edge of a couch. I will show you using this table what that looks like. Three, two, one. Okay, set down your blades. So if you want to use the edge of a couch, you put your hands on it, you squeeze your butt in, you push up towards it. Try to get your chest to come down towards your hands. But that's a way to do just a little bit of weight. But let's get into position, you guys. So choose the form that works for you. And again, if you've got really bad wrists, just hold an elbow plank instead. Here we go, you guys. Last round of push-ups. Let's dig deep. Like we're digging into the pockets of those we are mugging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Oh, switching to my knees. Eleven, twelve. Come on, puppy, give me strength. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, you did it, you guys. We're almost at the end. Just two workouts left. Our mugger scissor cuts. The super intimidating, hand over your coin purse, scissor cuts. Y'all, 
That was 90 push-ups. You did so good. Okay, so it's downward chops. So arms out, straight out, in line with the shoulders. Core is engaged, butt is engaged. And begin your chopping. I'm gonna do a bit of a squat too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go faster. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, shake it off, you guys. Last workout, okay? Last one. We got this. Side to side chops, arms in line with your shoulders. Let's do this, you guys. Arms up. Okay, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go faster. Nine, 10, 11, 12, full speed. 13, 14, 15. Whoo, shake it out. You did so good, you guys. You are now ready for ultimate mugging. Hand over those like buttons. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me, you guys. This is super fun. Um, if you want to do a nice cool down stretch after this, check out one of our stretching videos and tune in for more of our workouts. Subscribe to the channel to get all of our good stuff. Y'all are awesome. Bye.